Hey guys, this is Lady Lewu and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are watching this channel for the first time, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. And if you are returning to my YouTube channel, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I have been getting a lot of questions under my comment section about um, the Living Coast in, in Dalian. People have been asking me, how much money do you spend on rent? How much money do you spend um, on your activities on a monthly basis? And to be honest with you guys, um, I just feel like all that depends on a personal experience. And I'm going to share my information today based on my personal experience. Let me start by saying that I've been living in this beautiful city for, for almost five years right now. And I love it. I've seen Dalian transforming. I've seen Dalian becoming beautiful. I've seen Dalian having more activities. I've seen Dalian having more Western um, restaurants and, and other places. And if you are considering to move to Dalian, do it. Do not hesitate. Dalian is beautiful. You would love it. The people are amazing. The food, it's a coastal city. So I think if you are thinking of moving to Dalian, don't have any second second thoughts. Do it, do it, do it. <laughs> Okay, so let's first talk about two types of expenses that we need to address. Firstly, let's talk about your fixed uh, expenses. We are talking about your rent, your electricity, and your water. Let's start with your rent. With your rent, it depends where you live in Dunedin. For example, I live outside downtown. So, um, um, Dongchang, downtown is in Dongchang and that's where most people are and that's where a lot of places are in Zhongshan and with myself I live outside Zhongshan and my rent I pay about 2,500 per month 2,500 renminbis per month and the reason why I chose to live outside downtown it's because I prefer a quiet space and living in a quiet space, it comes with its advantages and disadvantages. And the most advantage about living in areas, in, in an area that I live, you get to pay less land. My rent, it's less, 2,500 RMB. It, it might sound a lot, but compared to um, some places in Zongchang, um, it's doable because there, there are a lot of places in Zongchang um, that are very expensive and at, at the same time the apartments are very very small i'm not saying all of them you will find other nice apartments in in Zongshan, but to be honest with you i prefer to live outside uh, downtown because of i don't like noise so it depends where you live people that live in in Kaifachu, they probably have a different um experience when it comes to their rent uh same as where I live, I don't pay the same amount as people that live in Zongchang because, like I said, it depends where you live in Dalian. La, my utilities, my water, and um, my water utilities, I spend around 100 to 200 renminbis, and my electricity utilities, I spend about the same amount every month. So that is the first type of expenses your fixed expenses now let's move to expenses that are not fixed your activities your entertainment um yeah so your food because food i don't regard my food as fixed um expenses because what i eat always changes so let's talk about that with your with your with the expenses that are not fixed let's talk about your activities right um it depends on what you like to do honestly speaking if you are an indoor person you won't even have to spend a lot of money in dalian but if you are more outgoing yeah you might spend um it depends it depends what you like to do because people like to do different stuff but even with the activities here in dalian activities are not really 
that expensive but i've noticed that with aquariums aquarium parks are very are slightly pricey so if you are into your aquarium if you like to go to um your water park to go see animals and i mean see animals and stuff like that you might pay a, a little bit more but at the same time let me say this dalian doesn't have a lot of outside activities outside activities are very very limited here so if you like to go out again you won't spend a lot of time because a lot of places are public places there are public places where um things are displayed so you can just go to like a public place and get to see something like a statue or um like or you can go to like uh, some sea view so you don't have to spend a lot on that um let's talk about food with food you have your wet markets, your wet markets. We're talking about these Chinese places um, that have a lot of people selling different types of, not really different types of things, that selling the same things, but people, they have, they set their own prices and the food there, it's usually cheap. We're talking about your vegetables, your fruits and your meat. So if you are like, you don't like to spend a lot of money, you can go to these wet markets and spend your vegetable, spend, I mean, spend your money <laughs> on these wet markets. But at the same time, if you are into buying your groceries at like stores, your Walmart, your Ikea, you might, sp you might expect to spend a little, a little bit more, even with your vegetables and fruits. So with my food, honestly speaking, I don't spend a lot of money when it comes to food because okay i think i'm lying <laughs> okay let me just say this um because with my activities if i do something outside my apartment i'm most likely to go out to eat with my friends and um, just explore new restaurants around so but no i'm not lying i'm not i don't spend a lot of money on that because i know what i like to eat um, even at restaurants, even when I cook at home, um, I'm predictable. I pretty much eat the same food. So already I know what to eat. And yeah, with the food, again, we have like your Western restaurants that are reasonably cheap. And then you have your Western restaurant, your Western restaurants that are a little bit pricey. So I'm not going to say the prices because honestly speaking, I don't, I'm not sure what other people how much money they spend on on food and and activities so i'm not gonna say this this restaurant is cheap or that that restaurant is expensive because at the same again like i said it depends on what you like to do it de depends on the, the type of a person that you are food um you can go to zongchang you will find places that serve amazing food um at a reasonable price and Again, you can go to Little Venice and um, you can find food that are that are sold at a reasonable price and you can move around that area and find um, food that are sold at a at a expensive price. Like I said, it depends on who you are, what you like to do. But overall, Dalian, it's not an expensive city. It's not. It's not. It just depends on who you are. Okay, let me move from, away from this. Let's talk about your your transport. Transport, I feel like it's the same in China. Transport is very cheap, but um, convenient transport. It's cheap, but I feel like it comes with um being in crowded areas all the time like if you want to take your, the bus you have to queue it's cheap if you want to take the subway the subway some sub subway stations are always packed it's cheap and if you are more into you don't want to be like around a lot of people all the time you can always um take a taxi you can always take a dd and with the taxi as well, I think the minimum price, the standard price is like your 9 renminbi with the taxi. 9 to 11 renminbi, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah, at the same time with taxi, it will depend where you're going around the city. But um, everything is doable in Dalian, guys. The food, um, activities, rent, it depends 
on your lifestyle what you like to do what you prefer but honestly speaking the reason why i don't want to leave dalian is because um um it's not expensive it is not expensive spending a lot of money in dalian it's your choice you you won't spend a lot of money in dalian because the city forces you to spend a lot of money you will just do it you it would just be your choice to spend a lot of money in dalian so guys this this is this is all i have today i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you next time thank you for watching this video and yeah bye Thank you.